Hi, I'm Maya Feller and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. I work with people who've been diagnosed with a diet-related chronic illness via medical nutrition therapy, and I also work with people to reduce their risk of developing diet-related chronic illnesses. There's nothing better than an at-home manicure. I started doing my self-manicures at home when I was an undergrad, and it really started as kind of in between the manicure sessions and the salon, a way to stretch it out, and it has grown into something that I absolutely love. Because I deal with diet-related chronic illnesses, sometimes work can be like, it can be serious, and I really do like to have a little bit of fun with my nails and make them, you know, bright and colorful. It's just a way of showing my patients that, you know, it's not all business, it is serious, but you know, I can have a good time too. The salon that I go to, they give you spa water and it, you walk in and it has this amazing spell. So I start at home actually by running my diffuser with aromatherapy essential oils from my all time favorite brand, Now Foods. And so I'll put a little bit of their calming scent in here and it just like takes over the entire floor down here. This is where I always do my nails. After that, I have a setup where I'll have a little silver bowl and I'll put in some rose water concentrate. Again, it smells really great and it's a way to make the water kind of special. So I'll start by soaking my fingers in my rose water concentrate and then I'll take them out. I also have my microderm abrasion cream. It's for your face, but I really like to make sure that I'm taking care of my hands as well. And then I have this really juicy cocoa butter cream that's very thick and emollient that I use to keep my hands well moisturized. I also have any cuticle oils that I need. I'll put the cuticle oil on, massage the tips, and then I will start by filing a little bit just to get the cuticles off, and then I'll do a pushback. I like to make sure that I have my files and my trusty cuticle clipper. Try not to go crazy with that, but sometimes I get a little overzealous and I get in there and really get those cuticles. I'll clip around, and then when I'm done with all of the nails, I'll do a file again. I usually go back and reshape the nails in between just to keep them kind of nice and oval. My nails used to be very short, but now they're a bit longer because I'm experimenting with length. I have my nail polish, and right now I'm using polishes that are free of the big three, and I'm slowly transitioning to polishes that are free of the big five. It's a process, I'm on my way, but you know, I try to choose things that are on the lower end of the toxicity spectrum. Then I will go on and do my base coat. After the base coat, I'll put a top coat of color. Depending on how light it is, I'll do one or two or three, but today I just did two because I've got darker colors. So today I decided to do a pattern and I have some dark nails, I have lighter nails, and then I have really, really light nails. So it's like a pattern party on my nails. Now that I'm living the long nail oval life, it's like new to me. Before that, I actually had very, very short nails. I was working on the Southern Comfort Foods Diabetes Cookbook, and I was in my kitchen for nine weeks, literally living in front of my stove with short nails. And as soon as I was done testing those recipes, I was like, I am gonna have long fingernails. And so I let my fingernails grow, and I was also like, you know what, I'm gonna step into 2019, and I'm gonna have oval nails, because I wanna be fresh. <laughs> And then after those, the color coat, I'll put a clear top coat that's a long lasting coat, and then I put quick dry. And that's really the whole process. Now that I have a family and kids, it's really interesting because when I go to the salon, everyone's like, oh, it's mommy time, and you know, give her space. But what I've discovered that when I actually do the manicure at home, I get the same kind of, ooh, mommy's doing her nails, give her space, she can't touch anything for an hour after. And I can create this whole salon-like feeling in my home and it's extraordinary. Subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel for more self-care nation.